I worked as an estate agent. Um, I've had three jobs within the industry. I left the first company uh, to work somewhere else. And then the first company I worked for approached me a few times and managed to convince me to go back to work for them in a separate branch. Um, now, I suffer from Crohn's disease. For anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's a form of inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Um, and basically, what it means is that when I'm not doing well, I'm suffering from the condition, I have to go to the toilet more frequently than a normal person would do. Um, now, the company that bought me back was a is a big corporate, um, corporate firm. Um, I don't want to name any names. But the, when I when I went there, uh, my health did deteriorate and I was suffering and did need to go to the toilet far more than you could say my other normal colleagues. And I w- didn't feel too comfortable at, about going to the toilet as much as I needed to because I was sharing the same toilet as my other colleagues. M- Mick, um, what's your were. question for me? So is, do, does it, if a company knows, because I d- disclosed that my, um, about my health condition, they were aware of that. Do they need to have a disabled toilet on site for hiring a disabled person, or that's not the case? No. So this, this is a shop, right? An estate agency. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I'm assuming, like most estate agents, it's not the biggest premises in the world. It's probably not the biggest. No, it's it's a, it's a size of a typical medium shop in in High Street. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, w- what do you think they should do? Should they should they create a second toilet for you? Is that what you're asking? Well, that's the thing. It seems like a bit much to do, but at the same time, I feel does, like they need, they need to be able to accommodate. Um, and why, why can't the they? I mean, their duty is to make reasonable adjustments. I'm not sure converting part of the office into a second toilet is, is reasonable. I stand to be corrected, but that's that's my initial view. Um, but why can't you just use the one toilet? Is it just embarrassment at using it so often? It is, and then when there's complaints from other members of staff or jokes about the toilet not being free... Um, or Christ, you know, it's a miracle the toilet's free for once. Um, that's not very pleasant. To, right. Okay. To so deal that with on top that, of the that might be a different. That's a different claim, and that you might have a claim there. That's disability. I'm assuming you qualify as disabled. You probably do. That's disability yeah. discrimination harassment. That you would have a claim for. You could sue your employer for injury to feelings. Whether you'd want to or not, I don't know. Maybe it's worth doing a grievance instead internally. Um, but you, I don't think you can compel them to build a second toilet for you. That that's, goes beyond what is reasonable. 